Now, in Zimbabwe, the University of Zimbabwe's embattled vice chancellor, Levi Nyangura, will appear in court later today after he was arrested on charges of abuse of office over Grace Mugabe's PhD. The University of Zimbabwe sent its vice chancellor on indefinite leave over the allegations. Nyangura was arrested in mid February by the Zimbabwe Anti Corruption Commission, ZACC, which is investigating whether the PhD was wrongly awarded to the former First Lady in 2014. The University Council took the decision to suspend uh, Levi in Yangura after several hours of very heated debates last week, Wednesday. Indeed, Jerry, and the case of this fake PhD has resurfaced more than three months after the fall of Robert Mugabe, partly because the thesis granted in 2014 to Grace Mugabe was officially published only last January. A sociology thesis of more than 200 pages that she would have written in only a few months. Well, in any case, the arrest shows that Mnangagwa's government continu continues with its witch hunt. Now, two other ZANU PF members close to former President Mugabe have just been inducted. For corruption. On the phone with us now is uh, Pindai Dube, our correspondent uh, in Zimbabwe. Pindai joins us live from the capital of the country, Harare. Hello, Pindai. As always, it's always good to have you uh, live on the program with us. Uh, how is Harare this morning, Pindai? Yeah, good morning, Jerry. How are you? Yes, I'm great. And how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. So tell us, first of all, how is Harare this morning? What's new in Harare? Yeah, basically, Gary, the election fever is hitting in Zimbabwe. This country is heading for polls in the next four months, and the campaigns have already started. And secondly, uh, people are experiencing, you know, a, a new life under a new president following Mugabe's demise uh, last year. Uh, and on all corruption, there has been a massive crackdown by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, which has seen several arrests of sheriffs. These are top officials who were in former President Robert Mugabe's government. Um, Luke, um, Pinda, we are talking about Grace Mugabe's PhD following the suspension of the University of Zimbabwe's Vice Chancellor, Levi Nyagura, and he is due to appear in court uh, this Monday, that is today. Pinda, ex-President Mugabe has accused Mr. Nangagwa of uh, launching something he calls like a vendetta against his wife. Has the government reacted to this allegation? Yes, uh, Grace Mugabe was awarded a controversial uh, PhD degree in 2014 by the state-owned the University of Zimbabwe. But after his husband Mugabe last year, some lecturers at the university are saying that they never saw Grace at school studying for that PhD. And they call it bogus. Then uh, this has led the anti-corruption uh, uh, to start an investigation which led to the arrest of the vice chancellor Anyangura. Uh, last week, uh, during his birthday party, uh, Mugabe accused the current regime of uh, uh, Mnangawa of harassing his wife. He said uh, that Grace worked for the PhD, uh, PhD degree, and he, he saw his studying for it, for it again. During his inauguration, a new president, Emerson Mnangawa, promised to fight corruption also. Um, Apinda, is Grace Mugabe and uh, Levi Nyangura, who is appearing, uh, who is due to appear in court later today, uh, are they ready to face these charges? Uh, when I briefly spoke to Nyangura uh, last week, uh, Jerry, after his uh, release on the day, he told me he's feeling fantastic, which I believe is ready to fight the charges. The state prose prosecutors are saying that they will make sure that Grace is brought to court is he is the main actor in this uh, degree scandal. And uh, the prosecutor also said they believe there are many cases of corruption at the University of Zimbabwe and they will investigate. This will, appear to be, uh, this will appear to be the beginning of a fight against corruption in Zimbabwe. Can uh, President Nangagwa win this fight? Mnangagwa uh, can win uh, the war against the uh, corruption, but uh, what he is failing to do is to deal with some top officials in his government who are also non looters of the nation's resources. There are several ministers in the current government whose names were mentioned by human rights groups and other local corruption watchdogs, uh, saying that they are corrupt and Mnangagwa should deal with them. 
But Mnangagwa has not taken a step to forward to investigate these officials. Zimbabwe is losing uh, several billions of US dollars through corruption, which is believed to be staked in foreign bank accounts. And recently, he, he gave an ultimatum of March 19 for those who have externalized the funds to bring them to bring it back into the country. Well, we will only keep paying attention to what is going on in Zimbabwe, and uh, we will always uh, get in touch to circle back to you to, to hear the very latest. Pindai, this is how much we can take. Thank you for speaking with us this morning. Thank you. Many thanks indeed. African News correspondent Pindai Dube speaking with us there from uh, Zimbabwe's capital, Harare.